Hi everyone, Catherine here. I am going to do a review today on Trader Joe's Falafel Ball Mix. I am very curious and I can't wait to make these and I hope these turn out really well. They actually have two ways of making them. They have their traditional way, which is frying them in your wok, a big wok, or in a eight quart saucepan using about four inches of oil, okay? Or you can bake them, got this ready, in your oven, okay? So, um, these look really delicious and I've seen them for quite a while now and I wanted to go ahead and give them a shot. So there's not much in here. There's fava beans, chickpeas, spices, sea salt, garlic powder, onion powder, baking powder, dehydrated parsley, and sunflower oil. So that is it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing these and then at the end, I'm gonna put these in a pita pocket with some tzatziki sauce that I also got from Trader Joe's. We'll check that out. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to add my falafel ball mix. Um, it's one cup per three quarters cup of water. I'm doubling the recipe today because I am making a batch for the wok and also I'm going to make a batch for the oven. So that'll give us about 18 all together. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my pack. Ooh, that smells good. I can smell cumin in there. <laughs> That's the first thing I smelled, cumin. All right, so we can go ahead and measure out two cups. There's one. So it looks like there might be, let's see. Yeah. So probably about there's three cups in that package there. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back in. quarters cup of water so what I'm going to do um, I double that so I have a cup and a half of water here I'm going to go ahead and put that in here and I'm going to give it a mix looks really good I can see the parsley flakes in there yeah mmm Okay, so after I mix this up, you can see that it's kind of like that. So it says at this point, we're going to just lightly cover it and set this aside for 30 to 60 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, and that, what it's gonna do is firm it up a little bit more so that we can make our little balls with it. So. All right, I've got some press and seal here. This is loosely covered, so I'm not gonna really like press this on there. I'm just gonna lightly kind of lay this on there, just like that. And um, we will be back in 30 to 60 minutes. Okay, so it's been about an hour. I have my oven preheating at 350 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and do the baked ones first. So I'm going to take off my loosely covered wrapping here. Oh, do you see how that solidified even more? That's great. That's what we wanted right there. All right, so I'm going to take a scoop, and it said roll them into about one and three-quarter inch falafel balls. So I'm going to take my little ice cream scoop here and just kind of get a ball there. Probably about that much. And then I'm just going to... So I'm just going to lay these on here. Right. Oh, smells so good. This smells really good. All right. Mm. Said you should get about nine of these out of um, out of this, but um, I'm doing. I have two batches in here: one to bake and one to fry. So I got to keep that in mind. Only need nine of these to get into the oven.
Okay, so I have my nine falafel balls ready to go. It also said to spray with some olive oil, but um, I don't have a spray, but I do have olive oil. So I'm going to just lightly coat the tops of these, just like that. Okay. Then these are going to go into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. And what it's looking for is a brown bottom and a puffy top. So it's going to be kind of puffy on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and get these in the oven for you. All right, I've just pulled these out of the oven and now we're going to check the bottoms of these. Look at that. I think that's the golden color that we were needing and they're puffy on the top and crispy. So I'm going to call these done. These need to cool off for just a little bit. And while they're cooling off, I'm going to go ahead and start doing the traditional way, which is frying them in oil. So let's get started. Okay, I have my second set of falafel balls rolled and I'm going to put them in this oil here. I'm using a uh, canola oil. Now, these take about one to two minutes once I get them in there and I'm just gonna keep rolling them around until they get a deep, dark, golden brown color, which is what the box says. It should take about one to two minutes. Now, to check and see if my oil is ready, it's been sitting here for a little bit getting really hot. I'm gonna just take a little piece of the falafel ball right here. I'm gonna put it in there. All right, now you see that? We are ready to start putting these in. Now you want to be very careful, so I'm going to use like a slotted spoon here and put put one in. And just let it go in. Oh, they are sizzling away. All right. Now, we'll let them do their thing for about a minute or two. I'm going to rotate them a little bit so that all sides get golden brown, and it should take about one minute to two minutes. You can see the deep dark golden color on these as I've, I've pulled one out already. It, it's very crunchy on the outside, so that's exactly what we were looking for. So we want to go ahead and turn off our stove there. I'm laying these on a plate with some paper towels on them so we can drain the grease. Mmm. I cannot wait. The smell is amazing, y'all. <laughs> it's like really amazing, so all the spices and seasonings in there, I'm ready to try these. Okay, all right, there we go. I'm gonna let these come drain a little bit more and then I'm going to start building these for you. All right, everybody, I have my falafel balls done. I have them from the oven and I've fried this batch here. I'm going to build my pita sandwich using a tzatziki sauce that I picked up from Trader Joe's also. It's a creamy garlic cucumber tzatziki dip. And then I'm gonna put some tomatoes in it also. Oh yeah, look at that. Mmm, that smells good. All right, so I'm gonna put these in here. We'll put one of the ones from the, the oven in there. I'll just crumble just a little bit. All right, let's see, we need to put one more in there. Okay, just like that, like that. All right, I'm gonna put some tomatoes in there. more. 
All right, now I'm going to drown it in this. I was just kidding. I'm not going to drown it in there. All right, you can see the cucumbers in there. Can you see the cucumbers? Look at that. Slices of cucumbers. Probably just marinated into that sauce. Oh, look at that. Let's give it one more spoonful right here. All right. How's that look, y'all? Looks good? All right, I'm going to give it a try. Mm. That is very good. I'm going to say for me that that is a winner. So this falafel ball mix, two ways, is a winner for me. And I'm sure it's going to be a winner for my family too as they're ready to eat these because they've been smelling them for a while. So. All right, it's a thumbs up for this. Y'all, comment down below if you've ever made the falafels this way or if you have a, another recipe that you use. Give me a thumbs up for my video today and also subscribe. I have shows that come out on Mondays and Thursdays. I do grocery hauls and I do vlogs. So um, I will see you on my next episode.